Two, six, okay, let's try this again. Can you hear me, John? I need to make sure that people can hear me because apparently my last one, you couldn't. And it was probably because of this little thing. See? This thing. It's probably blocking my, my mic or something. So anyways, like I was saying, all of you guys last night were having a grand old time with Super Bowl Sunday. Justin, can you hear me okay on here? Like before when I put this other video up, um, they couldn't hear me. Jay, can you hear me? Let me know. Um, and what's up, Justin? My eye is getting a little bit better, just not quite just there yet. Um, but a little by little, it's getting better. Um, anyways, so what's up, Heather? How are you guys? Thank you, Justin. Um, so anyways, while all of you guys were having a grand old time watching Super Bowl Sunday, I was working, okay? No complaints here, by the way. But I was working. I don't mind working at all. And, um, you know, I'm glad that I did that. And the reason why I'm glad I did that was because this morning I had like half the staff call off. Um, and it were the, all legitimate reasons, so I'm totally okay with that. I mean, nothing you can do about that, right? But, man, I'm happy I worked last night. Because if I didn't work last night, I might have had a problem today. Little baby problem. Um, so anyways, it's, you know, it, today has been a long Monday, to say the least. And in all honesty, I've got to say one thing, man. I mean, we have some solid team members at the office. Super solid. In fact, I won't say her name right now because I'll release her at some point. But there is a new girl on staff, and she actually did really good under pressure today. And, you know, sometimes working in that office can be a little, you know, pressure um and not everybody can handle the pressure um and that's just you know is what it is i would say and i'm being super realistic with you right now i would say maybe 10 to 15 percent of the population would survive at titan medical center working under me um reason being is because i am very very specific on how i like things and I don't like when there's multiple mistakes made on the same thing that's really just, it's not even just a mistake because everybody's allowed or entitled to a mistake, right? Because we're human. Totally fine. Um, what I don't like is laziness, okay? And you can always tell the difference between a mistake and laziness, right? Um, hey, Matt, how are you? I hope you're feeling good and everything's great. What's up, James? Hope all is well with you as well. So anyways, um, you know, I can't say it's the uh, easiest job in the world, but I will say the people that have made it through the ringer at Titan Medical Center, they, I mean, those are my soldiers, man. I mean, I, I love my girls. I really do. Um, and I think, and we got some really good people on the team now that are guys, so I can't even just say girls anymore, you know? And we got a really good team, you know? It's just, I'm very particular about who's on our team and who we keep on our team, and it's because... We have to have smart people on our team. I don't want to hear you guys complaining about a mistake here, a mistake there, this happened here. Oh, I talked to this person. And the, I don't want to hear any mistakes that are being made and you guys are upset about things because I've got people on the staff that can't do what they should be doing, okay, or do it well or drop the ball, okay? Everybody in that whole entire office, my biggest thing is, is to carry a notebook, and the reason you should carry a notebook, and even I do it. I mean, I have an amazing memory. Like, I remember everything. I don't know how I do it, but I do. And you should keep a notebook, and you should keep it next to you. So if, indeed, you need to pick up a phone call in between what you're doing, you can pick up the call, take the call, and then write down what you were doing so you can go back to what you were doing and not mess it up. So it's important that you keep track of what you're doing and make sure that you follow through with things and you don't drop the ball halfway through it. I mean, I think there was even a girl at some point in my Titan medical history that was very upset just because I asked her, I'm like, where's your notebook and why don't you have it? Because you're supposed to have a notebook. You know, it's like mandatory in my office to keep a notebook just because how are you supposed to remember like what you were doing unless you're like non multitasker, which is not going to work in my office. But if you're a non-multitasker, that's not going to be good. And then you drop things through the... It's just not good. Just, let's just leave it like that. So anyways, yeah. I would say 10 to 15% of the population would survive a tight medical center working under me. Because I cannot be the easiest person to work for. Um, Peter, is that you? Peter's at the door. Do you know why he's at the door? It's 10.04. It's time for his bed. Hi. 
Bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Go to bed. Good night. Anyways. Good night. Please plug in your iPad. Take Zoe out. Love you. Anyways. So, like I was saying before, you know, um, it's not the easiest to work for me, but, you know, I will say when we do a good job, we do a good job, you know? And I do. I come down hard on the girls when there's something that goes wrong or somebody's upset or whatever. And it's because the expectations are high of our patients. Expectations are me. So if something was to happen with a patient or with their package or with their anything, phone call, call back, voicemail, didn't get a call back, whatever it might be, I treat the situation as if it was me that is in that situation. And I am by far worst case scenario. You know, I'm one of the people at the restaurant where if you mess it up, I'll be like, you know what? Just take it back. I don't even want, I don't even want to, like, I don't want anything else to replace it. I just want you to take it back and just refund me and I'm good. That's me. I'm the mean one. So, you know, you got to treat it like that. Treat it as if it was your own situation. I mean, think about it. It's important that you do that, right? So anyways, yes, today was a very long day considering that I had half my stuff, but we did pull through and the girls, I'm telling you, they did a really good job today. I'm very, very proud of my girls and um, we made it through Monday. Yay! Um, update on my eye. Um, it's, it's getting a little bit better, hopefully sooner than later. And I'm um, going to get my lashes fixed tomorrow because I got all these gaps in there. It's not cute. And I am getting more comfortable, actually, with being on these lives with no makeup. See? No makeup. It's cool, right? Not wearing any makeup. When before, I wouldn't even go on a live unless I had at least eyeliner on. Now I don't even have eyeliner and do my eyebrows. I don't care. I'm just, you know, I'm going to do it just to say hi to you guys, update you guys on what's going on and all that jazz. I have a visitor. Oh, <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so there's John. Chilling. Yep. I'll tell oh, you in this video. I do want to add a little bit. I did hear a little bit of this. What is it? All right, so. Beep, listen, guys. Beep, beep, All right. Beep. So, this is the cold hard facts. Uh oh. Are you talking about. I'm going to break it down for you guys, real simple. Real He's going to tell you guys. And you guys will understand once I say it. So, if you're a patient and you call us. And you say, hey, listen, I want to put my order in. I need my medications. I need them to be on time so I'd be consistent. Love you, Heather. Something happens. Somebody doesn't write something down. The order doesn't get put in. You don't get your medication. Then you're pissed. You are upset, right? Pissed. And at that point, what happens is, is that you're going to call us and you're going to be screaming, hollering. I'm out of my medication. Pissed. Where's my testosterone? Where's my amino acids? Ah. You guys tell me to be consistent. I can't. And me and Sharice had no hand in it. No, nope, right? no hands in the pot. Nope, nope. But we have to suck it up and take the punch to the face. Just take right? it. You got to roll with the punches. And that's an old saying that is true. All those old sayings that your parents and grandparents told you, they they're right. true. I suppose. And they all come true. Yep. So at that point, we're not hard to work for. We expect what our patients expect. Hi, Ada. Right? And what, what, do, what do you patients expect? You patients expect communication. You guys expect your medication to get you on time. First class service with first class therapies. So if we don't provide that. Or, and it's our fault. And we've gave you that. Now you guys are upset. Yep. Actually, you know what? There's a girl that's on here right now. Her name's Ada. She was actually one of my students at Everest University when I was teaching at the time the medical assisting program. And I mean, I was pretty strict teacher okay and um i did tell people when they didn't belong in the medical field or i was like you know what this probably isn't going to cut it for you or you're not going to be successful i would tell them like listen this is probably not going to be a good field for you you know just because i just don't think it's going to work for you i mean yeah i mean so i mean john's right though i mean listen we're the ones that have to you know we're the right. ones that have to put the fires out I'm gonna, What's I'm, up, gonna, Matt? I'm gonna go back to this right and some of you guys can relate to this and it's real simple it's real it's a real easy one to work at too if you look think about it Think about you're going, you own a restaurant. One of your waitresses doesn't pay attention to what the customer's order was. Now, the waitress puts in that wrong order. The cook cooks that order wrong. Now the waitress brings the wrong order out to the customer. Now the customer's upset. Now you have to make him happy, right? Yep. Well, 
Let's say that customer ate that food. You say, oh, you know, I wasn't, I didn't like this food. Well, if that happened to your medication, or we miss one little detail, or these people that you know, and it's serious. Thank God we got we we do got a really good great team on there. A team is awesome. Yeah. You know, listen, people that that haven't worked out for us or whatever, as far as working, there's no bad blood as far as on our side. In most cases, there's no bad blood. Yeah. You know, it just didn't work out like that. And yeah. It doesn't work out in life, and sometimes in some situations. I mean, that's across the board. I mean, think about other places that you might. It's have worked. how you handle it afterwards that shows your true character and shows how grown up and mature you really are. Agreed. Because a lot of things don't work out in life. It's how you handle them afterwards that really shows who you are and your true character. I mean, it is what it is. Trust me. Everything hasn't worked out for me. I'm sure everything hasn't worked out for Sharice in life. Thank God me and her worked out, right? <laughs> you guys wouldn't have Titan. So, uh, you know, and Titan's worked out so far. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. But a lot of love to everybody out there. Everybody tries and everybody has uh, a different specialty that they're good at. Yeah. You know, it might not be this, but it might be something else. Yeah, and listen, in the medical field, guys, it's super important for everything to be documented. You'll hear this in the medical field, if you've ever been in the medical field. If it didn't get documented, it never happened. So if you were to do something, it didn't get documented, it bounces back in my court, now i got to clean it up, and I don't even have anything to go by because you didn't document it, that's going to be a problem. You know, so it's it's those little tiny details that are very important in this type of business and any medical office for that matter. I mean, it's really important that people abide by these rules of the medical land. OK, um, so, yeah, and I can't say, you know, like I said, we've got some really, really, really ace players on the team. I'm super happy with the team we have put together at Titan Medical Center. And to be quite honest with you, you don't find many people that care about your business as much as you do. And we've got some girls on the team that really do care about our patients, like family, like what we say, you know, they're, they're like family. They are like family, 100% like family. So um, I figured I'd share that with you guys. And this is Zena here. So, you know, I was watching the news last night and I was like appalled because I'm watching on the news that like these, is it high schools or colleges? Okay. Colleges. You know, I, listen, Zena is an emotional support animal, okay? Oh and God. I have to bring this up. See, he says, oh, my God. So, listen, on the news, they're talking about how they're, like, you know, they're okay and they're, like, embracing the emotional support animals because you can, like, pet them and they make oh you happy and that you're not depressed anymore and you can pet them some more and that they love you and it teaches you how to love unconditionally. So, actually, they were really talking <laughs> about how everybody else is being very very strict and starting to stricken up on these policies because everybody's using the emotional support dog these days to bring their dog yep. everywhere they go yeah i love dogs yeah but they have their places unless they're really really needed for an emotional support dog right but they're saying that colleges are opening the door but i can't believe this because listen snowflake as, fever as a lot of you know out there that do know me very well i didn't grow up with animals and i didn't grow up with animals because i didn't like animals I, I didn't grow up with animals because my mom wouldn't let me have an animal i mean i brought home a hamster from the school once as like a class pet and i closed my bedroom door and opened up the hamster cage try to hide the hamster and like i had it like in a little thing in my in my on the floor and she came in there and she freaked out. When I say freaked out, I mean freaked out. Like freaked out. And she was like, oh my God, oh my God, what is that thing? And of course it starts running. It runs into my closet, hides somewhere in some shoe. I, it was absolutely horrible. I'm like, I will be like never forgotten for the girl that took home the class pet and did not bring it back. Okay. <laughs> I would be like, oh, so my dog ate my homework. I'd be like, oh, my mom killed the hamster. I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, in all honesty, I truly believe that, you know, I do. I, I didn't get to have animals when I was growing up, and now I get to. And, and they do. They bring a happy, happy, you know, place to you. I don't think that people should abuse that. Okay. And, um, you know, try to take it places where they shouldn't take these animals and your friends as you call them and i call them um but you know they i mean they're they're happy and you know they never argue back with you and uh you know it's it's, it's a good thing so but anyways i have a ton of things to do um i just kind of want to catch you guys up on what happened today today's obviously been a really long day last night was a long night i didn't go to bed until almost two o'clock in the morning. And that's when I actually shut my laptop it was 1.58 AM is when I shut my laptop. I think I popped, popped it open around 7.30. 
So, I mean, you got to do what you got to do to make sure that everything's right. Hi, Angel. How are you? What's up, Ben? It's always good to see you guys on here. I'm, like, so excited to see you guys. And you guys have actually, you know, you guys know Titan Medical. You know me. You know John. Um, you've known us for a while. And, you know, we take a lot of pride in the customer service at Titan. It means a lot. Um, it's actually... It's actually been, you know, it's been, it's been a long journey of, you know, customer service and making sure things are right and, you know, people are happy and, you know, that's all we can do is try our very best to make sure that things are right and people are happy, right? So, I mean, we've done a really good job thus far and, you know, I'm excited because we're expanding out into other things. Hi, Nene, my nurse practitioner. She's awesome. Um, but... You know, we're, ex we're expanding, which is scary in the same token. But, I mean, I mean we got to expand, right, at some point. So now we're going to, like, start letting some other people into the Titan family across the nation. And, you know, we're going to be entrusting these people with our, you know, reputation and making sure that they got to do what they got to do. So now I'm going to have to be on a whole nother level with all these people on a nationwide level to make sure that they are holding the customer care that I expect and that John expects and that our patients that have been with us expect. And deserve. And deserve. Absolutely. I mean, you guys, you guys really are like family and, you know, we honest to God, we we're very humble with our business and everything that's come along with the business. Good and bad. So um, we wouldn't be who we are today without you guys. But I had to give my little rant on, uh, you know, office staff and, you know, yes, Chenille who is my nurse practitioner and is absolutely amazing. She's super smart girl. And um, she's like me. She's got OCD and she's A++++. You know, there's like type A and then type B. Me, I'm like type A++++, A++, one, two, three, four, A++, okay? And she is also that way too. And sometimes people like us can really, really, you know, creep under everybody else's skin because we want everything perfect. It's got to be done perfect everything's got to be as perfect as possible at all times and if it's not it doesn't make us very happy but we are successful in what we do because we put so much effort and detail into everything that we do hi frida how are you so anyways that is my rant about you know office staff and you know like i said i'm mean, gonna i'll repeat it 10 to 15% of the population would survive a Titan Medical. And it's because you have to be detail-oriented. Um, you got to hold a lot of different traits. You, know, you got to be detail-oriented. You have to be have a great personality. You have to be outgoing. You always got to be in a good mood. You know, because listen, think about it. How many people have you guys, or how many people have you guys worked for, or companies that you work for, when they say pick up the phone, they can hear your smile through the phone. And it's because if you pick up the phone and you're like, Titan Medical Center. It's, people can hear that, and they don't like that. I mean, they feel that over the phone. It's not. It's not good. So you know, you want to make sure that you know you're happy and create a good environment, um, and then just you know making sure that you do what the protocols that are in place. You know, document everything. Make sure that you do what you got to do at work. Show up on time. You know, and a lot of the girls that work for us, they stay late and they do what they got to do. Come in early. You know, come in when they're sick. I mean, geez. Michelle fell down a flight of stairs once and she still came into work. I mean, I call that soldierism. <laughs> so, um, I do, Frida, we go way back. Uh, but anyways, hi, Jay, my brother from another mother. So anyways, I wanted to just hop on here real quick and say hi to everybody and tell all of you guys how grateful we are for everybody always supporting us. And um, I'm super, super excited for some of these awesome endeavors we have ahead of us. And you're going to see me this weekend. Yay! Ah! Um, so anyways, I just, you know, want to make sure that everybody's under the, you know, that they know exactly what the expectations are. And that's of all the girls that you guys talk to on the phone, you know. It's across the board. So it's important that we keep that same exact thing going. I mean, we started the company out with just me, John, and a doctor. Me, John, doctor. Doctor, John, me. Me, John, doctor. Okay? So it was always one of our faults if something didn't go right. So now we're like on a bigger scale where it's like one of 11 or 12 people's faults. <laughs> you know? And that's internally if something goes wrong. And, you know, we don't want things to go wrong. We want things to go right. 
as right as possible. Like I said, human error is a thing, and it's very real. Um, but, you know, people at Titan Medical Center that work there, they're not really human. We got all the good stuff to make us non-human. Just kidding. Um, Jay says so, hi. Hey, what up, Jay? See you this weekend, dude. Yeah. Really, so, really good advice. Yep. You got to make sure that, um, you know, listen, I've never been a business owner. All I know is that I know what people want on the other end. I, like I said, I'll treat it like if it was me. And I am not nice when things go wrong. Okay. When my, if I order something and my package doesn't show up, I mean, if I go to the restaurant and my food's messed up, I mean, if I go somewhere and something is wrong, I mean, and I will be the first person to call you out about it. And I expect the same thing in return. Like, if that's how I would act. I would say, okay, if this was me, how would I act? You know, and most of you guys are a lot nicer than, you know, than I would ever be. So I can appreciate that. What's up, Manny? How are you? So it's, it is a true story. Very true story. And so, yes, I wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, I'm proud of the girls today. And, you know, we've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow and the rest of this week. You know, it's always nice to refocus our energy, you know, because, I mean, obviously we're busy. We have a million things going on, right? But, you know, sometimes it takes up our time and we don't get to really, like, be in the mix of everything, you know? So sometimes it's good to get back in the mix of things a little bit and, uh, you know, be back into the middle of what's going on in the office and be able to see exactly what the deal is. And make sure that everything is the way it should be. Because there's been protocols that have been put in place and things that have been put in place to make sure that certain things don't happen. So when those things are happening, you got to ask yourself, okay, so what's going on that this is actually happening? It doesn't make any sense, you know? What's up, Stacy? Hi, Neil. So um, anyways, everybody say bye to Zena, my emotional support animal. And everybody say bye, everybody say bye to John. Bye. <laughs> And uh, like I said, today's been a long day, but I'm sure I'll live. It's what, 1022? I got a million emails to check. I got at least 40 text messages that I need to at least go look at. Doesn't mean I need to respond. I will respond to some of you guys at like midnight or like one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh my God, I hope this person doesn't get mad. <laughs> but most of the time they don't get mad and they're just like happy that they got a response at 1 a.m. from the doctor's office that they're going to. I mean... How many of you guys get a response from the doctor's office at midnight? None of you. Okay. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for always listening to my rants. And, you know, I try to keep it semi PC and think about what I say before I say it. So I don't say anything too bad. Um, but I'll always be real. Okay. There's no other way for me to be. I don't know any other way to be. And that is the way to be is super real and down to earth. People will love that and they can respect that. So anyways, guys, I'm signing off, technically signing on to my computer and I'll see you guys soon.